Good afternoon, Cardinals. I'm Ron Burgundy. I'm Rick Chamberlain. I'm Chan Pan. And these are your afternoon announcements. Come bake with the French Club on Tuesday, December 19th. We'll be making a traditional holiday cake as well as cookies. You must sign up in room 315 by Monday the 18th in order to participate. Spanish Club will be hosting a pulsera sale through Friday, December 15th during all lunches in the cafeteria. Additionally, club members will have these colorful bracelets during sale for sale during Cardinal time on Wednesday, also in the cafeteria, and during varsity girls home basketball games on Tuesday and Thursday. Attention Cardinals, fellowship of Christian athletes will be having our annual Christmas party on Monday, December 19th at 8 p.m. in room 109. Join us for fun night. Everyone is welcome. Stop and see Miss, Mr. Bartz, <clears throat> Mr. Plat Plankers, or Mr. Youngberg with any questions. And that's it for today. Stay classy, Coon Rapids. Me again down here in the Cardinal Kitchen, and we have got, for your dining pleasure today, that chicken alfredo with the garlic breadstick. And then on the specialty line, it's going to be the grilled cheese sandwich. On Monday when you come back, we are going to have the chicken bites with mashed potatoes and gravy and the garlic breadstick. And on the specialty line, it's going to be that French bread cheese pizza. Hope you have a great weekend and hope to see you down here. Thanks. Hey, this is Landry Math over here at Coon Rapids High School. Just letting you know that it is nice to be important. But remember, it's more important to be nice. I had the privilege of nominating friend Darius Willis for the Character Award. I've known friend Darius uh, throughout the four years that he's been in the building, both as a link leader, but also on our football team. I don't know, I was kind of shocked. It was just like, wow, like it was me. It didn't really hit me until like, like right now. I uh, met him in the, actually in the, in the weight room. He started sharing his life with me and everything. We got a little closer. Um, my first impression of friend Darius would be that he just has this charisma about him. I don't think that there is a person in this building who does not know who Friend Darius is. Our school climate is shifting towards a community of respect, and I think it's because of the leaders like Friend Darius contributing to that change. When I see him walking around new students, giving them tours, that's usually how he introduces himself, and he'll like reconnect with that person later on to make sure that they're adjusting to school. He's real with people, and he's like, listen, stop being disrespectful, or you're better than that. Well, just in practice, I've seen him help younger kids in, in, in a positive way. It's like he's almost that big brother type to step in and help, help that person out. Because I know how it feels, and like, I don't like that feeling. I don't like to feel lonely, like left out, and I'm sure other people don't like it either, so I try to include everyone in everything. Frendarius hasn't had, you know, that easy kind of lifestyle. He's had to go through a lot of transitions and uncertainty. When he started opening up about his life, it's about his past. You know, you know, everyone has the, the best childhood growing up, but from his progress I've seen the last few years, huge turnaround. I think what sets Frendarius apart is that uh, this hasn't been an easy role for him. And that's what I think has been uh, really cool on, on my end to see is that over the four years, he's developed into a leader. I've seen him come through the ranks. He's a leader on the field and on the mat and just all around in the building. We've been going through this thing this year. It's called like kindness matters, like random acts of kindness, like helping someone out in the lunch line, helping out the new kid at school. Just like small stuff that no one's gonna notice, but it impacts that person. I remember one time he brought me a student that was crying and he was like, here she is, she needs help. And later on I was like, who was that student? He's like, I don't know, I just found her. And she was crying and I knew she needed somebody. And that's just kind of who he is. He's genuinely concerned about everybody in the building. He really is grateful and that he really does embrace the positive things in his life, the people that he has. Well, he's, uh, he's given me a different perspective. I look at him as like one, of, one of my sons. You know, actually, I've, I've told him that. I've actually said, hey, what's up, son? He calls me his school mom all the time. He comes to me with problems. Personally, uh, he's like a son, but he's kind of like a member of the family. He's probably one of the best kids I've met in a long time. 
I'm from Darius, this is who I am. That's who I'm always gonna be. I'm Griffin, I'm a junior. I'm in football, winter weight training, track. Hmm. I don't know. I like a wide variety of rap. I admire my grandpa because he's been a big role model for me and he's always been there for me to help. Cardinal Nation, uh, we got good school good school spirit, um, gotta get out there, show that Cardinal pride in the games. After Coon Rapids High School, uh, plan on going to college at Northern Michigan State University and uh, majoring in science. I'm Griffin and I'm Cardinal Nation.